know, I I never thought that I'd be the kind of guy to do this, but I can't I can't lie. There's something about you that makes me want to do everything differently, better, even doing stuff like this. As I sit here, I'm reminiscing about the journey that brought us together. I can't help but marvel at the twists and turns that led us together and led me to you. It was a rough start. Growing up in a toxic environment, the one thing I learned to do was build walls around my heart so that I could protect myself from the chaos and the dysfunction and the toxicity that was around me. In the process, I guess I became someone I never thought I'd be, someone I never wanted to be, a womanizer constantly seeking fleeting connections to fill the void that lingered from my troubled past. The thing I've been running from, the thing I haven't been able to escape. As I navigated the tumultuous waters of my upbringing, the chaos and toxicity, they became my norm, shaping my understanding of love and relationships. Looking back, I can confirm that it really wasn't the best example. Instead of embracing vulnerability, I learned to armor myself with indifference and detachment. I can't even believe I'm saying this. This is, it feels so icky to be saying these words, even though I guess a part of me always knew that it was true. I didn't. I believed at one point that it was the only way to shield my heart from further pain. I see how wrong I was. In my quest to protect myself, inadvertently, I adopted destructive patterns, morphing me into a womanizer. I sought solace and relief in shallow connections. And I was mistaking physical intimacy for emotional fulfillment, which was something that I've never really experienced. Each fleeting encounter, it became a temporary distraction, a momentary escape from the haunting echoes of my past. And they were all too welcomed at that point in my life. Yet,
beneath the facade of confidence and allure, a profound emptiness persisted. And you know me by now, so you know the first thing I did was try to bury those feelings. Despite my efforts, the void within me, it just, it remained unfulfilled. Ah, man. And what's worse, each new conquest, it didn't even give me what I was looking for. It only served to deepen the chasm in my soul, leaving me feeling more lost and more disconnected than ever before. And I was at a real low point in my life considering giving up life had lost its its draw its its allure colors were less colorful and then you walked in you walked into my life like a gentle breeze softly stirring the dust that had settled on my soul and there was so much. My soul was so buried. In that moment, our eyes met. And little did I know that our meeting, it would mark the beginning of a profound transformation. Your warmth and authenticity captivated me from the very beginning. Your smile, a beacon of kindness, melted the layers of ice encasing my heart. I was drawn to you in ways I couldn't comprehend and slowly I found myself unraveling in the most beautiful way. You still captivate me to this very day and I don't see that diminishing anytime soon. On the contrary, with each passing day, my love for you grows exponentially. Our conversations transcended the surface where I was comfortable operating my comfort zone transcended that and delved into the depths of our dreams, fears, and the intricacies of our pasts. Babe, with each shared moment, you became the anchor that held me steady in the storm of my emotions. I am forever grateful and forever in your debt. Your consistent support and empathy, they've built a safe space for me to confront the challenges I've been trying to evade for so long. And I feel compelled at this moment to say thank you thank you thank you now I'm not gonna lie and I feel foolish for having done this but I resisted at first I was hesitant to let go of the womanizer facade because I had so carefully crafted it it felt like who I was. The initial resistance stemmed from my reluctance to abandon the carefully constructed facade that I had created. The hesitation, it likely arose from various reasons. 
mostly self-perception, past experiences, and a desire to maintain a certain image. How foolish I was. But you, my love, you patiently stood by my side, encouraging me to peel back the layers and reveal the vulnerable soul yearning for love and acceptance. I can't thank you enough for that. Together, we navigated the challenges of opening up and embracing the profound connection that blossomed between us. Your love, so perfect. It became a catalyst for change, breaking down the barriers that held me captive to my toxic past. In your embrace, I found healing, redemption, and a love that transcends the scars of yesterday. As we continue this journey of self-discovery, I am utterly, completely, and totally grateful for every moment that led me to you. Because if anything would have been different, this wouldn't be what it is right now. So I'm glad that it was what it was. You are the author of a new chapter in my life, a chapter filled with love, growth, and a transformative power of a connection that goes far beyond the surface. With all my love, I love you. <laughs>